When did you realize your tractor was tipping over? About when it got here. <laughs> when, when, when that front tire on the left side started coming off the ground, I knew we was in trouble. We are the Lee County Middle School West Solve Team. We live in a very rural area where farming is our community's lifeline and main source of income. There are nearly 42,000 farms in Georgia with more than 9.6 million acres of land. One thing that makes farming dangerous is tractor rollover accidents. There are around 100 deaths per year from tractor rollover accidents. We believe we have come up with a solution that save a life and to be more affordable for farmers to purchase. Accidents can not only be life threatening, they can be bad news for business. When a tractor rollover happens and a farmer goes out of business, we lose not just crops, but livelihoods. Roughly 50% of tractors across the country don't have rollover protection systems. A rollover bar costs $1,200, which is far too expensive for some farmers to buy. Our goal was to make a cheaper system that could help if a rollover did happen or prevent it from occurring in the first place. We started making the prototype by ordering the GPS, gyroscope, phone component, the LED, the SIM card, and a breadboard. We then researched where the best place to put the sensor by meeting with a local tractor salesman. He described where we may be able to place it. The team decided to place it in front of the tractor past the steering wheel so that it could be easily seen and heard by the driver. We then met with a programming expert. He taught us how to have the prototype do what we wanted it to do. We would first have to write the programming in the English language, then translate it to the C++ syntax for the microprocessors. To warn drivers of a potential rollover, we programmed the LEDs to turn yellow between 60 and 80 degrees. The gyroscopic sensor was then programmed to turn the LED red, send an SOS text message asking for help, and the GPS coordinates when it detected an angle of 90 degrees or more. Our partner then taught us how to solder the components of the sensor together. We then moved on to creating the case. The case had to be bigger than the actual device because we had to fit material in the case to minimize vibration and eliminate false positives due to the tractor vibrating when it was running. Holes were also cut to allow for the LEDs to face the driver and for a charging cable to be plugged in when not in use. The net was made into a 3D model and taken to a local machine shop where it was made into a metal case. The case was formed using a 175 ton hydraulic press, roller, and jigsaw. The ends welded to create a case capable of surviving the weight of a tractor and rollover. Lids were created to shelter the electronics inside in case of inclement weather and then bolted together. With our completed prototype, we created a full-scale test where our sensor could detect potential rollovers on an actual tractor. We used our school district's front-end loader, straps, chains, and a partner's tractor to see if it would work in a real-life setting. In addition to working on a simulated rollover, our tractor angel costs $153, creating a savings of $1,046 in comparison to a rollover protection system. Since the prototype was successful, we are going to make more of the Tractor Angel sensors and give it to people that need it. We hope to make the sensor even smaller, wire it into the battery, and incorporate a voice message to send to an emergency contact. 